Okay, so today I worked out in this. This is um, Raquel Welch's Miles of Style in Glaze Strawberry. And um, she, so what I have on is a wig grip. I have the wig fix actually. Um, what's the company makes up? It's called a wig fix. And it's like the uh, clear silicone thing with the bumps on it. And so I have that and then just Miles of Style over it. And then I have this little um, wrap thing. You can get like, like 10 of them on Amazon, um, as you can see. My patio is a mess right now. We have a new dog, um, a Great Dane puppy who's deaf and uh, he likes to chew up furniture and plants. So it's a mess back here. But anyways, I just, um, yeah. So anyways, back to working out with wigs. Uh, this piece, um, I have it pulled back. So like, just like that, just in a little dude. I've had it like this up all day, even before working out. Um, and it's summer, well it's summer here, it's September, but um, it's like over 100 degrees out today. So anyways, um, it hasn't been hot at all. I even had this little bit hanging out all day. Worked out, did um, more beach body uh, on demand, um, high intensity, it's called the work. Um, and I was on the ground and it didn't budge. I could feel myself sweating. Um, you know, actually, some people say they sweat to death while working out, but I will say that wearing a wig while doing like a hard workout where you're sweating actually blocks the sweat from like pouring down your face. So to me, that's a bonus. And if you have like a wig grip underneath, it kind of acts as a headband. Um, you'll want to wash it more often, but it still it helps to trap the sweat in. So um, I compared to when I've worked out without wigs, I don't feel any more hot. Um, this is wefted, so that could make a difference. Some of my my light density pieces, like Alexis by John Renault, she, um, everyone's like, oh, but she's hand tied, she's trying to be super hot. But the density is really light, so I'm not, I could wear Alexis all day, every day. I could sleep in that wig and I would not feel burdened at all. So, um, just something to think about. Not all wigs are created equal. There's some wigs, like I've, I used to have Ignite and that thing was hot. And sweaty it just because there's so much hair on top I think that makes a difference so some of the hand tied caps um, they're just lighter density um, Kaya is thicker she's even though she's thinner less density than Zara she's still quite a bit of density I've had her up in fact that was what my first workout video was on was working out with her and um, it you know wasn't as bad. I, you know, I can put up with it though. Like I, I push myself hard and a little sweat and heat to my head isn't going to deter me. So, um, I don't know. That's just something to put in the back of your mind. Maybe just push through a sweat. I mean, cause at the end of the day, if we're trying to work out and wear wigs, it's because we're in public. We don't want to sport either. You have a bald head or you have thinning hair that you don't want to shave or whatever. It doesn't make you a bad person because you want to work out with a wig on. So I know that some things, you know, when I share these videos, people are like, oh, I just, I just don't wear a wig or I just wear a ball cap. Personally, me, I, you know, if I was going to the gym or, or running outside, maybe in the winter, in the early morning when it's dark out, I'll go with just like a cap on, but I'm not comfortable with wearing nothing on my head when I'm out in public. And my head's not bald, it's shaved and sparse and because I shaved it myself, it looks, awful because I was trying to keep hair at the base and on the sides intact and not shaved so it's just a mess so anyways I would not wear that in public so if you don't mind going without a wig then just you know this video is not for you but for people that want to wear wigs while working out because they are self-conscious and that doesn't make you a bad person then this is why this kind of stuff matters and you want to know what's breathable and what's not and you know, I said Era was like the best one for working out. My old style, she's longer, you know, she goes to like here, but she's still light density. She doesn't, My old style is not pillowy at all. Um, My old style was the first wig I had. My old style and Gabor's runway waves. 
Um, Gabor still, they have a ton of permatees. They do have that mushroom head, even on the models. I have yet to see someone wear a Gabor wig that doesn't have that big mushroom head. Prove me wrong, but I still stand by that opinion. Um, but uh, Miles' style, when I first got her, I thought was too much hair, so I had her thin. I wear her now, like, I haven't done anything to this wig. I haven't even done a review on this wig, and I've had her for over a year. But she, the density is fine. It's not pillowy back here. Um, there was even more hair with Kaya. So I made her go up in a bun, but it was still a lot of hair. But this density is perfect. Um, the but wig didn't budge at all. I uh, felt great, felt comfortable, was on the floor even. Um, bobbed around, you know, did jumping, high knee, jumping jacks, things like that. So um, this wig is another one that I'm recommending compared um, to Arrow. Arrow is a good choice by Ellenville and uh, Miles Style by Raquel Welch. And this one you can actually get, you know, with all those discounts going on, you can find this one at a good price. You could find a wig sister selling it. You can find one on eBay. I've seen one on eBay for like 100 bucks, 150 bucks. So um, just keep that in mind, you know, as you're searching, if you don't want to pay full price. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for um, this round of uh, working out with wigs. Okay, thanks for watching. All right, uh, the piece I worked in, worked out in today is John Renault's Amanda. It's an older piece. Um, the colors on it are, there's different colors available, but I like it. I got this one in uh, Frosted Flame. But the point of this video is how she held up working out. So I used um, a the wig grip. There's the fuzzy wig grip with like the cap over it that you see that's popular. One day I'll do a video on all the different wig grips I've tried. Um, how they hold up as far as resistance, which ones I recommend, all that kind of stuff. Because I have a lot of different ones and they don't all work well with every wig. And some of them don't work well at all. So um, I need to do that for everybody. But uh, this one, yeah, I had that sort of wig grip, um, the velvet kind. And I had her up like this. So initially I had her up in like a little top knot. If you were just going for like a walk or if you were just doing like weight training that would be fine but I was I, all I did was like high knees and it was bouncing everywhere and came loose so then I just hover you know like as if you're pulling the ponytail through which you don't yet so there's this so and she stayed it I felt like she slipped a tiny bit but I think that was when I was doing the high knees and the hair was flopping everywhere but I didn't adjust her the entire time she stayed, I even did exercise on the floor and she stayed put. Um, you can see she has bunching up here. So if you wanted it to look a little more real, I would say keep her in like a low pony so it doesn't do that bunching. Um, but she is wefted, but she's not like Alessandra. Um, she, you know, I was able to put her up. Alessandra just has too much hair. She just doesn't work that way. But this one did. Now this, I know this kind of looks retarded. I just was trying to pull it up. I had people come in to detail my car and all that. Um, you could not, because she has no lace front, even a lot with lace fronts look ridiculous. Um, sorry, my face looks really red and blotchy. I did a, um, I did the whole face shaving thing and I got a, a sharper, like a surgical grade scalpel. Um, and I nicked a few places. But overall, I really like those results. Highly recommend it. So that's why it looks red. Um, but yeah, so you would have to wear something with it. These ones, this is the same headband that you can get like 10 of them, different colors on Amazon. You can bunch it up. You can pull it back. You know, that looks a little more like dippy dippy, I guess. I don't, I actually like that look better than um, how I had it. But, Anyways, it's just one other headband you can use. Um, I really like using like bandanas the best because you can tighten them and it just gives you a little more added support. Like if I was gonna go to, um, oh gosh, my arms are sore. <laughs> um, if I was going to the gym and I was doing like an aerobics type class, I 
would definitely arrow, I would definitely wear arrows, and then I would um, use most likely like, with arrow, she's light enough that you wouldn't need to, but if I was gonna wear something like Kaya or this piece, I would definitely wear um, like a bandana, so I have more control over how tight it is around the hairline, just for that extra support. Um, that's my recommendation. So, um, but overall, yeah, she stayed put, and um, she's, I, I include this one because she's a more affordable piece. She's older, she doesn't have a lace front, um, double mono top, uh, fully wefty cap, but she's below 200 bucks. Um, I don't know what you get her. You know, you wait for those sales and everything. You can definitely get her below 200 bucks. So that's why, um, it's just a good thing, uh, I'm not going anywhere today, really. Um, I'll let you know what the results look like. But, uh, I mentioned her she's more affordable, so you definitely find her for under 200 bucks. So, that's why I include her. Um, she did great after, you know, I put her on this and she wasn't in the top knot. Um, would I leave her in a ponytail? I mean... You, pop, you you could, I mean, you could leave her in a ponytail, but she might get a little more tingly just because she's bouncing everywhere and, you know, rubbing on your shirt and stuff. But she might hold up. Um, maybe when I go jogging next, I'll take her and see how she does in a ponytail. Okay, so uh, stay tuned for more.